Good morning, friends. Come join me for a special PDO circle time. Come on in. Good morning, friends. It's time for another PDO circle time. But this time, it's going to be different than our other street PDO circle times. This one's all about Easter. Okay, first, let's do our affirmations. Here we go. I am loved. I am brave. I am a leader. I am a creator. I am an explorer. I am a friend. I can change the world. I am the future. Good job. All right, what makes this day special is that we're going to learn about Easter, okay? Easter normally happens during the spring months, sometimes in March, sometimes in April. This year, it's going to be in April. You see that? April is our next month after March. Now, right now, it's still March. It's actually Tuesday, March 30th, all right? And then we have the 31st, which is the next day, which is on the Wednesday. And then on Thursday, it's going to be a whole new month of April, right? And April, and this, and Easter is going to be on April the 4th, this Sunday. All right, now, you may hear some wind outside. Because right now, in my neighborhood, it's really windy. And so you may hear the wind go, ooh, all right? So we're not going to pay attention to that noise, okay? All right, now, Easter is a special holiday that we celebrate. Easter is a time when God's sons, who is Jesus, saved us from our sins. And that is written in the Bible. You may have a Bible like this, or you may have your special kid's Bible. Okay? Now, we're going to tell the story of Easter through my special eggs. All right? Now, let me finish with Easter story. Um, because God sent his son to live in this world and to also die for our sins. Now, don't get scared. The best thing about it is that Jesus rose again. And that's why we celebrate Easter. He's alive. He is risen. He is risen indeed. And that's our Bible verse for April. He is risen. He is risen indeed. All right? And we can be happy about that time, okay? Are you ready to join the story with me? Okay, here we go. Let me get my eggs. We're gonna do them one at a time, okay? I gotta find egg number one. All right, we need to see what's in this egg. Oh, I have some crackers. See the crackers? These are little mini saltine crackers. But this represents the dinner that Jesus had with his friends. He had 12 friends called disciples. And his friends, they were all having dinner. And this is the time when he told them what was going to happen and that it shall pass. And they shouldn't worry. So that was the Last Supper. Let's see what egg number two says. And later that night... Oh, Jesus prayed in the garden. He said a very special, special prayer. Right? After he prayed, see number three. Uh oh, what's number three? After he prayed, the soldiers came to take him away. And they put him on the cross and it was a sad time when Jesus was put on the cross the sky got dark people were sad and then Jesus passed away and then they placed him in a special tomb and then our fourth egg they put him put a rock a stone, a very heavy stone, very, very heavy stone, okay, in front of the tomb. So no one could get in and no one could get out. All right. On the third day, Jesus, guess what? He rose again, okay? So when they opened with his friends, Mary... 
and some other friends went to go to the tomb. Guess what? The stone wasn't there. And remember, that stone was heavy. The stone was moved away. And guess what? The tomb was empty. Like my egg was empty. It was empty. Can you believe that? And no one was in it. Not even Jesus. And don't forget, remember I said that stone was heavy? That stone was pushed over to the side. The friends became worried. But guess who came? An angel came to them. And he told them, don't be afraid, don't be worried. Because Jesus has risen. He's up in heaven. And that's why we can be so joyous because he's in heaven and he's watching over us. Right? So we celebrate Easter. Now my sixth egg is candy. <gasps> Jesus is alive. Now each one of these little jelly beans is going to represent something, okay? My red jelly bean is for the blood of Christ. The blood that Christ gave for us to be forgiven of our sins. Now my green jelly bean is for the grass that God made. All the pretty grass that now we see growing in the spring. And you may see um, grass in your backyard and in fields. Alright, now my yellow egg is for God's light so bright. See the yellow? God's special beautiful light that shines so bright. Orange for the prayers. Oops, wrong color. <laughs> Orange is for the prayers that we say at night, that we pray to God about. All of our cares, our worries, our thankfulness, all those that we do at night. Or in the morning, or throughout the day. You can talk to God throughout the day, not just at night. All right. Now the black jelly bean is for the sins that we made. Jesus forgave us. Jesus died for us for, so God can forgive our sins. And you know what? It's, we're going to do things that we're not supposed to do. But we know that God's going to love us and forgive us no matter what. Okay? Now my white jelly bean is for the grace he gave. Don't forget, God loves us no matter what we do. When we're good, when we're bad. He still loves us and we can enjoy that. Okay? Alright, and purple, my favorite color, is for the hour of sorrow. When everyone was sad, the cross, when Jesus passed away. And pink, the last one, is for the new tomorrow. Because when Jesus died and then he rose again, we were blessed with a new day and new tomorrow. To be forgiven of our sins and know that one day... We can see him up in heaven. All right? Now, I hope you guys have a very special Easter with your family. Whether you go to church or not, we pray that everyone has a blessed Sunday, this Easter Sunday. Okay? Now, I want you guys to repeat after me. This is April's Bible verse. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Good job, guys. All right, I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.